All right, guys, so I don't know how successful I will be at doing this one-handed, but we will try. This is DIY Lip Balm. Now, uh, I have been melting this because the beeswax takes so much longer to melt than any of the other items, and so I want it to be ready to go. But here is the instructions, lip balm. Two tablespoons of shea butter, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and one and a half tablespoons of beeswax. The thing is, though, uh, the beeswax is based on if you like a, a stiffer or a creamier, uh, what do you call it, a uh, lip balm, right? So the beeswax is what gives it that stiffness. So I'm trying to get this off in there so that it will stay. So I used two tablespoons for this one. The one I made earlier um, for myself, I did, because I like it creamier, I used one and a half tablespoons. So I'm gonna, and you can see that little guy there. So this is the beeswax, organic beeswax, and it just looks like that, they're little pellets. So I'm just gonna grab a tablespoon of our coconut oil, okay? Stick that in there. That melts the fastest, so you all should know that. And, let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> Always good. This is our shea butter here. So let me, sorry, so you can see my mess here. And I've got everything pre-set up so that, um, you can see the actual tubes are ready to go, okay? So now I'm going to grab a, again, one-handed here, knocking everything over. And this stuff is actually really good. You can just pad that out <laughs> without burning myself here. We'll scoop that in. I guess if I broke my arm or only had one arm, that could happen, right? Uh, shout out to all of you who only have one arm. A lot to do. Okay, so mixing this in, this should melt up pretty quick. Quickly here. Because the shea butter and the coconut oil, they go pretty quick. So the shea butter is, uh, the coconut oil obviously is faster. So you just want to keep stirring until it's all fully melted. Okay, and I have this all set as a double broiler. And I have it on pretty low heat. So it's on low setting. And I just keep, just keep stirring. <laughs> okay. All right, this is super easy to make. I mean, realistically, you could do this in the microwave if you don't care about microwaves. I kind of do. I kind of do and I kind of don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Microwaves are really bad for you, so we don't, I don't run it but as much as I can, but sometimes if you're trying to get something done really fast, but turn the sucker on and walk out of the room. <laughs> but microwaves tend to mess up the, cons the actual constituents in the things that you're using, so double broiler is always best. Okay, so you can see it's melting. So a trick to check consistency, I'm going to turn this off now. So the flame is off, but it's still hot, like it's still on some heat here. And an easy way to check this is to just pull some out and either like drip it somewhere. So like I just dripped it right there. See how quickly it was Mickey Mouse, <laughs> mini Mickey. It, it, will, it will set up really fast. So you can actually check it and see if, if that's a good consistency. I like that. That's actually stiffer than my other stuff. It's exactly what I wanted. So that was two, two, and two. Two tablespoons of each. And that's a perfect lip balm. Oh yeah, that feels really good. So that's an easy way to just check to see if you've got it right, okay? So just put a drop somewhere and just see if it feels right. If it melts too quickly, that means you need more, um, more coconut or beeswax. If it feels like too stiff, like it's not really get coming off onto your hand, that means you need less beeswax. So you would have to add, so I always add less beeswax at first and then go from there. The thing about this is I'm gonna be real clear with you guys on is this stuff will, will set up really fast. So you can even see my spoon here, even where I'm stirring, it just sets up. So we wanna like let this cool just a little bit, but not much. And I'm gonna put my 
other oils in there, my essential oils. So I'm going to make a tangerine, uh, like a 50-50 bar. So be real careful about your vanilla extract. If you're using vanilla absolute, that's a little better. I mean, this is food grade, so it's not the best. I mean, you want to get organic stuff, but it's what I had access to to do these right away. Be real careful because when I pour this in, let me take this out so you can kind of see what happens, is that this is going to cause, and I'm watching the, so you don't want to get too much in there. So, so see how that hardened right away where I put it? That's because it's cooler than everything else. So you want to get that to then mix in there as well. That is just the vanilla. So you're going to mix that in to get that kind of 50-50 bar taste. And then put your tangerine in. So we're going to put 30 drops of tangerine in. And oh, by the way, I said two, two, and two, but I'm only making half a batch. So I did one, one, and one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's about right. So fifteen, because we're doing a half drop, half batch. So you'll blend that up already. I can smell it. it. Smells so good. And just do it to taste. I mean, you can also like take now this and put a drop here, right? So now I've got that drop, which has the flavor in it, and I can just take it. it smells great. Love it. Really good. I mean, you can all do, do all sorts of things. You can add some little bit of sugar to this, like some cane sugar, just a small amount will sweeten it up. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do with this, but this is just super easy. Okay, so I wanna show you how to do this. It's gonna, it's gonna set up quickly, meaning when I'm doing this, oh, it's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna grab paper towels, which we don't use at home, we're out of town right now. Again, see I'm a total mess maker. Those are the ones that I made earlier. Good times. I'm gonna get the water off of this so it doesn't drip into the mix, these guys. And then I'm just gonna go, see if I can do this with one hand here and one hand on the camera. Just go slow. Now some people will use Uh, like droppers, I don't know. I think it's a waste of time. You guys know me. I'm like, oh, I never filled it. That's fine. See, this is maybe why droppers, because it's a mess. But I'm also doing one-handed filming. That one was pretty good. You want to real literally fill it like right to the top. Ooh. See, that was good. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like make a mess. They're all gonna like topple over, right? So I probably have enough here for a couple more. But see how the the it like it totally sets up, and you can see the vanilla in there. So whatever, right? Homemade, always good. Oh, good. I love it. So if you use those little droppers, I'll show you what they look like. I don't know, I think they're kind of a pain. They're a little messy to me, in my opinion. So, they're a little messy, but like I'm a total mess, right? So here, see this, these things. I don't know, you can sit there for hours sucking this stuff up and then it's setting up in there, right? So now this is all like clogged, I don't know. That to me is counterproductive, but, and I'm like all shaky with these things because they don't, uh, I think these are kind of a mess, but I guess it's a little bit more for some of you guys who like really could never pour that. Yeah, this is all right. I've never really used these for this, but then you can like drip it in till you get it to just that like, because what's going to happen as this dries, see how I've like, okay, see that? How I've like, it's a bubble top. It's because that's how you want it. Because see, as they're drying, they're sinking in. So, like, you want them to have a little bit of a bubble top. Because they'll sink right in and look weird. Like, you want them to look, like, good, right? I mean, I don't know. We want our stuff to look good. So that one was a little... And as it dries, it sinks in. And I'll show you these. See that? <laughs> that's how that's how they dry. So if you can do them so they have a little bit of a top, you'll still see that one's already setting up really nice. 
This is great. I mean, this is super easy, you guys. Done, right? Toss this to clean this out. Just get the really try and scrape this out because you don't want your you don't want wax in your um down your drain. But that's it. Equal parts beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil in a double broiler, double boiler, I guess. Get these. Oh, and I want to show you these. Look, look, I found these. I love these. They're like those skinny kind. These are great. So this one I, I used, okay, so the mix on this, oh, what did I use? It was, it's so good. It's, um, shoot, stress, no. Oh, I know. Vanilla and uh, peppermint. So it's like vanilla mint. Really good. But you could do straight stress away in this. Super good. So you can see how they're setting up. They dry really quick. So if you don't like that kind of like weird belly button look, you can actually, and I don't know how I'm going to do this one-handed, but here, let's try. You can take it. Yeah, I don't think I can do this one-handed. <laughs> I'm going to try without dropping my phone. <laughs> and while it's almost dry, you can scrape it off. Like that, right? You can, like, literally take a, a bl the back of a butter knife and scrape it off. But it's got to be, um, I don't know, that's kind of messy. It's got to be dry, so I didn't do that uh, at the right time because it's got to be almost dry. So now I've got wax all over everything. So it's really tasty though, you guys, meaning like it's just so nice on your lips and this is so natural. This stuff is the best stuff you could possibly do. So there it is. There it is. Like so good, right? Straight up easy. Okay. Hope I didn't make you dizzy on this one because I'm hand holding and I'm a kind of a train wreck. Once it dries, though, put the caps on because they're still a little wet there. And then once the caps are on, you can go ahead and um, label them. And you can create really cool labels. I think even Young Living on their website has, like, labels that you can do. And these containers are straight up Amazon. I mean, I don't even know. Like, let me see if I can find the box. Oh, here's one. Amazon, like, you know, they have everything. So here. I bought a, I bought a box of these. See if I can get the label. Sorry, again, I'm doing this one-handed. I need like a film camera operator or something. This is them. Pure Acre Farms. 25 empty containers. I think I don't even know. I think this was like 10 bucks or something super stupid cheap. So I could be wrong. Maybe it was 20 bucks. But still, for 25, I don't know. This is a super fun make and take. Just do this. Again, just do this. <laughs> don't don't do a thousand things. Just do this. So good stuff. All right. I love it. We're getting there. I can't believe it. Almost 15 of these. We've done almost 15 videos in one day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they make it, they set up really nice. You guys, these are super smooth and creamy and delicious and fantastic. So watch the replay because I explained how to make them either creamier or thicker, like, meaning like harder. All right. Bye.